life cycle begins when the adults move into the field, typically around that heading stage of growth when they're going to be most attracted to the rice when it starts to flower. What they'll do is they'll, they'll start feeding on those grains, the adults will mate, and then the females will lay eggs on the leaf blade of the plant. They lay their eggs in two rows of little barrel shaped eggs, and depending on the maturation of the egg and the development stage of the, of the uh, nymph inside of the egg, they're going to vary in color from green at the more immature stage up to red when they'll start taking on the color of the actual nymph that's going to emerge from that egg. Uh, note that if you do find egg masses that are black in color, they're probably parasitized by a parasitoid wasp, which is going to target the stink bugs in the field for control. And what, they'll, what they will do is they'll actually develop inside of that egg, uh, feeding on that nymph as it's maturing, and then the wasp will emerge. So that's a nice biological control mechanism that we have that occurs occasionally in rice stink bugs. Unfortunately, it typically is not enough control to actually suppress the populations, and so we don't have to put out insecticide treatment. Nymphs are going to emerge from the egg as the first instar. They pop out of the little egg capsule, and then they'll actually start moving around on the plant. And from the first instar stage all the way through to the adult stage, they will actually have the ability to damage the crop by feeding on those developing grains. So they'll feed on the panicle as the grains are maturing. As uh, we discussed from flowering all the way through hard dough, they can cause injury to the crop.